I just started this one. What's good, y'all? Shalom. I got this. Do you want to do it? Uh, all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. We the Hebrew Israelites, spoken of in the Bible. We coming out here to teach this gospel as we were commanded in the scriptures. If y'all know the Bible, hey, hey, someone give me Matthew 10 and 5. Uh, you already got it. <laughs> For real? Well, that's the spirit. Hey, cause look, the scripture commanded us to go on the streets and teach this gospel. So if you call yourself believing in the Bible, that means you was commanded to go on the streets and teach, right? Matthew 10 and 5, he 12, Yahweh Shah said forth, he commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, or into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Right, so the Lord says, Stay away from the heathens. Go ahead. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we was commanded to go teach the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go ahead. And as you go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right, so we was commanded to come out here and teach that the, com the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And notice how he said, uh, go teach the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We supposed to tell Israel that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Because the kingdom of heaven is for the children of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is not for all the nations. It's for the children of Israel. That's what the Bible says. We out here teaching the Bible. If you believe, like I said, if you believe in the Bible, the Bible commands us to teach on the streets. All right. So if you're not teaching on the streets as commandment, that means you walk in disorderly. All right. And the Lord going to reject you. Go ahead. Oh, uh, well, that was the point on it. You keep going if you want. But that's just the point I wanted to bring out real quick. Uh, Luke 14. Luke 14. And, uh, you started, uh, this shit all janky. Look at my tripod. It says, So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house began being angry, said to his servant, Go out quick, like go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city. And bring here to the poor, the main, and the heart, and the blind. Oh, we're supposed to be out here bringing the poor and the main. Because the, the Lord said that, uh, what is it? What was that scripture, James? The poor in faith. I always forget where that's in James something. Uh, the Lord had chosen the poor of this world, but rich in faith. All right? Because all these devils, all these rich devils out here, they already got all that money. They already got their reward. All right? Because if somebody's got a lot of money, they're in that comfort zone. They're feeling nice and cozy. They, they think, you know, America's going to continue forever. They're in that comfort zone. So they're not going to do the work of the Lord. So the, the Lord got us out here for the poor, the main. Go ahead. The servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out thence, so like go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Right. We saw, we're supposed to go out and compel people in to make sure the Lord's house is filled. That means go out in the highways and the byways. That's why all you, all you fake Christians, y'all ain't teaching the Bible on the streets. Like Vocab Malone and James White, uh, 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 faithful to God. None of those faggots are going to teach the Bible on the streets. And I call them faggots because that's a biblical word. And a, a faggot's a, a, pallet, a bundle of sticks that gets burned up in a fire. That's the literal definition of the word faggots. Hey, you know that's too where you get the word fasci? You know what a fasci is, right? A bundle of sticks with a hatchet in it? Yeah, two fasci's when this person was speaking on this. Yeah, like but the other day, what, you, what was that the thing? The, the State of the Union? Yeah, they got two fasci's hanging up on both sides. Yep, they show, because that's a fasci come from the word faggot, which means a bundle of sticks. There's a spirit too, a bunch of faggots. Man. Yeah, they're a bunch of faggots. Hey, a bunch of faggots bundled together. It's funny how the spirits are always speaking one way or another. Yep. And that's true, too, because they show you, like in Congress with the fasci, that's that's a symbol of fascism. That's proof America is a fascist state right there. And y'all hear about Donald Trump talking about nationalizing a 5G network? Yeah, that's something a fascist state would do. A fascist state takes control of all the resources. Yeah. But if Donald Trump, they said that they need that uh, that new wireless system to make that market of beast work properly. 
because they're going they need a, a, a good a solid wireless system that all those chips can link into I mean, they said yeah they said Donald Trump's talking about nationalizing a 5g network so the government's gonna be in control of that network not Verizon not T-Mobile it's gonna be the uh, Uncle Sam Luke 6 and 24 woe unto you that are rich for you have received your constellation all right woe unto you that are rich like you see all these uh especially all these so-called white people these rich devils they already got their reward they're going into slavery but this is going to talk about you got rich Israelites like uh, LeBron James always throwing up his little Masonic hand signs at his games. Like a lot of, huh? Yeah, all, all these rich athletes and musicians, they're not going to do the work of the Lord because they already got their reward. There's a whole lot of them. Israel making money in this country, man. They, they getting paid out. Even even like a lot of the lower level, they, they might not be millionaires, but they making you know, 70 G's. Yep, insurance agents, doctors, lawyers, yeah, business owners, yeah. Does Jake make money in this country, right? Because my daughter, my sister was married to him. When they became millionaires together, this motherfucker was fucking niggas in prison and shit. Now it's him and his son is in the short north looking for transvestites and shit. Damn. I guess they're in the right spot. I ain't making that up. I ain't making it up. When there's multiple witnesses saying it, that's the new thing now. Tra the trannyism is taking over. Taking over, man. That, it's like because they really pushing that in the popular media on TV and the oh, music. Oh, it's yeah. trannies everywhere. Look at that, a young thug. Y'all see young thug? He just wears a dress. And he's supposed. He's supposed. He's, his name's Young Thug, but he got a dress on. How, what kind of thug is that? Is it, maybe that's what Tupac envisioned when he said thug life. Yeah. That's like. To these highways to buy ways to, to, you know, to condemn that shit, man. You know, period. Who else is out here condemning? You know, no one else but men of the Lord. And that's you don't see thug niggas out here condemning fags. You know. Hell no. They like that shit. Luke six and twenty five. Woe to you that are full, for you shall hunger. Woe to you that laugh now. Rich for you shall mar and weep. Right, because people be out here laughing at us like, ah ha! Y'all look stupid out here. Y'all laughing right now, having a good old time, like yeah, everything's fine at Danny. Soon y'all gonna be crying and begging for mercy. Y'all gonna be praying that the Lord gonna save you. But he ain't gonna answer your prayers. We, we, that we came out here, we told y'all the truth. Y'all laughed at us. Like we came out here on our own accord to tell you this. The Most High put his spirit on us to, for us to come out here. We ain't got a choice. We just out here. You know? We did. The Most High is in control of everything. And he sent his servants out here to give y'all this word. You know, most people don't listen. They laugh at it. You know, like the scripture said. Plus, that's talking about, too, you know, like I, like you said, all you got all these uh, rich Israelites in this country. They live in that good life. They live in the high life. Having these, you know, these parties, the cocaine tranny parties. Laughing it up, having a good time. Okay. okay. Soon they're gonna be crying and pleading for mercy. That's gonna be beautiful, man. Oh, man. You talking about the best? That's gonna be the best stress well, relief ever, man. I should have got him. You know, seeing judgment. Yep. And then living through it too. Yep. Being and, protected through it. And to see Esau go down too is even better. Cause, he, cause Esau's laughing right now, like, cause he think he in the, well he is in his kingdom, and he but he thinks his kingdom is gonna last forever. Yeah. Romans 10 and 14. How then shall they call no, 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 on no, him no, in whom no, they no, have no, not no, believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Right, because y'all people be like, why y'all out there teaching on the corner? What? Right. How are people going to learn if y'all don't have a teacher? Because they're not teaching the scriptures properly up in them churches. None of y'all, most people we talk to don't even know they're Israelite. Never heard of Israel. Never heard of the commandments. All right? They thought the commandments was, uh... Done away with. Yeah, they thought it, it was done away with. They, that's, that's crazy. Literally. For real. So they think being under grace, you can do what the fuck you want. You know? You're right. The church has got them all scrambled, man. And the church ain't got a clue either. They're lost, too. 
Uh, so you got to teach the church. You got one video, dude was like, yeah, you come talk, you come talk about you keep it standing, you a host. You can't have that up in my church. You talking about you uh, coming what? in here with fringes. You're like you talking about keeping the law, you sound like a coat. We don't do that in my church. I'm like, dang. He was on fire. <laughs> but actually, we are in a cult. Well, this yeah, is that's a, what I was saying. I'm this is a cult. The work. The no, the well, yeah, that too, yeah. The so word cult. Yeah, that's where you get the word cultivate. But, but cult is a Latin word. It simply means to worship. Or well, like to cultivate. That's a better word than worship because cult means you cultivate. Because your crops ain't gonna grow unless they got good water, good nutrients. So we out here providing that water and those nutrients for that, you know? So, yeah, being a good chef. Yeah, to be fed, yep. feed my sheep. Yeah. <laughs> feed my flock. <laughs> Got to be fed. That's a nice scripture though, man. I'm about to get that. We're How else would they know this, man? Let somebody be sent. And the Lord don't send somebody that has a PhD with a fly ass suit on pulling up in a limousine. That ain't who the Lord sends, man. He sends people that are low. You know what I'm saying? And did he said he hid the uh he hid the truth from the wise and the prudent and revealed it on the babe. Right, right, right. I would trust no man to be my leader if he ain't there today. Well the Lord sent you <laughs> men to teach you. They put every you. man that lead on behalf of God. Yep. They put them in jail. Yep. <laughs> they put Martin Luther King in jail. Well, he wasn't a man of the Lord, though. Who? Martin Luther King? Martin King, yeah. He wasn't? No. You believe that? No, I know he wasn't. I'm telling you, he wasn't a man of the Lord. Right on. He was a fag. He was a child molester. Mm. You know? He was part of the secret society. He worshipped Satan behind closed doors. He was part of the Sigma Pi Phi. Right. That Boulay society. So he was a devil. Yeah. Sigma? So he yeah. was a Satan. I ain't seen none of that at all. Wait a minute. Hold up. Check this out. Is that okay with right. you? Right. But that's why they demon. Uh oh. But that's why they demonized Malcolm X. Though. They demonized him and said that MLK was a good guy. You know. What's up, man? How you doing, Malcolm? Yeah, Malcolm. He had way more trips than MLK. What's going on, man? Teaching the word of the Lord. Man, let me know what that looks like. Let me know what that looks like. I never heard, uh, he never told his people they were Israel, did he? Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Yep. <laughs> you know? Oh, it's more too, though. Uh, we get the more Jeremiah. It's not a It's not a We're getting all the stuff. If there are wise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign of wonder, and the sign of wonder come to pass, whereof he back unto thee, saying, that is going to other gods which thou hast not known, that is serving thee. Which, that's what... Mother's King, I have dreamed. He's talking about Jesus Christ. And it says in Jeremiah, I have. Yeah. People say, I have dreamed. Yeah, I have I dreamed. It. You got it. Yeah. So check this out. Ain't nobody gonna be holding hands with your with your enemy. Holding hands possible with his peace. You know, peace and love. The Lord is totally against that holding hands, because that's prophesied also. It was it was war in the Bible. There can never be peace without war. You gotta have war before we have peace. You right about that. So, yeah. He was, you got that Jeremiah? Bible speaking. We're doing exactly what the scripture says to do. Everything you see doing, everything you hear speak, according to the, to the scriptures. Maybe, yeah, it's 25, I think. Huh? I can't hear you. Speak up, bro. Well, that ain't his name. We believe in the Lord, but that ain't his name, Jesus. Is it 23? All 25 is the ones my huh? words like fire. I, I guess scripture no, actually, makes up. The Heavenly Father and His Son. Yep. And then trickle down to us who've been stripped of our power, who are gods. So there's many gods, but you know, but who you speak hey, with in the world eagerly called Jesus, it only really means you don't know. So Jeremiah, Jay didn't, I got the, it. Word letter, the letter J didn't exist back then, so his name could have been Jesus. No, it my was my name, my name is ah, your power ah. shine. So we're going back to the ancient Hebrew. The Lord was a what? Hebrew Israelite, right? From the tribe of Judah, right? So he was a Hebrew Israelite. 
gonna have oh, a no, no, it was 23. So it's Nathan Sean. 23 and 25. That's why I got confused. 23 and 25. Ain't no Sean, they keep it. Ain't no Sean. Ain't no Sean. Yeah, he did send his son. He did send his son. Right. But his name, but his son's name, but his son's name is Yahweh Shah. And the father's name is Yahweh. Yep. Okay? I don't know if y'all have some. I was about to get that there. No, they didn't rework the life. They just put that in there as a stumbling block for people that don't want to accept the, that new song. Yep. It was a, it's a stumbling block for those that have been blocked out from this. You know, a stumbling block. You know what a stumbling block is, don't you? Something that people trip over. You know, and then turn back and want to hold on to it. <laughs> you know, but the Lord is a, this is a spiritual thing, man. And only the people through the Spirit is going to accept this truth. You know, that's why you don't see large masses of people are pushing the truth. That's why you see small amount of brothers all across the globe, all across America, that's pushed, that camps is pushing up. But compared to the masses of people, this ain't this is a small fraction of a number. It's nothing, man. You know, but it's powerful though. Hey, the scriptures say the Lord don't deal with a great multitude. That the Lord's strength is not in numbers. Numbers. First Peter is one and uh, uh, Peter is two. Yeah, 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 Peter but what motherfuckers do, man? Just hear the word and keep going. People should be sick of living in this. Right. Go home. Go home and <laughs> go home and cook their dope up. What's the number? There's a heaven. There's a heaven. There's a spirit. There's a different realm. Or there ain't no hell. There is a different realm. There ain't no hell. I've heard what the prophet said. I've heard what the prophet said. I prophesied lies about that. Why else? We, we're the only dream. ones in need of a savior. That's Jeremiah 23 and 25. I said something about 25, did I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Said, That's a, I couldn't remember. I thought it was a chapter 25. Yeah, me too. But I know there's no 25 in there. Keep going. How shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy the lies? Yes, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart. Yeah, that's a good scripture. Yeah, yeah. So because after Martin Luther King had that speech, he uh, already he said that that was the uh, we can't like no matter what. Just go back here and take that speech back. No matter what, he, he said it wasn't right. He said Jordan Hills with white men was never a good idea. Israelites going to be Israelites. Okay, it's a little video he came out with. He said he said he was feeling bad about people that have told his seven. I ain't seen that. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return to God who gave it. That's right, because the spirit of Moses. I'm going to get this up a little closer. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh gave the Israelites the spirit of, of, of his spirit, righteous spirit. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of the Israelites, the ones that can dance, the ones that can sing. We fuck the best. They probably fight the best. Eaters. But he gave the spirit of the wicked to the wicked. You know? Stop lining that beard up, man. Stop lining that beard up, man. <laughs> You know, they ain't even beard when you line it up, bro. Hey, That's decoration. Yeah. <laughs> Stop doing it, man. Let your line man grow, man. Yeah, let it grow, man. Shit, man. man. Women love that shit, man. Women yeah, I mean, you can do what you want. We love it, man. If you want someone to make a five-part video series on you, that's on you. <laughs> Your reincarnation, man. That's all in the script. The Lord was reincarnated also. He was happy. The Lord was happy. Nah, you can come back as the same you you again. You can come back as you body. again, but a different body, right? You know? You've been here many times, man. Died. Come back many times. Many times. I got scripture for that. <laughs> you know? But that spirit, you can't have that spirit of knowing what happened to you in the past. Imagine if you knew your head got chopped off in the past, man, in, in one life and you got burnt. And you know, hey. fucked up shit happened to us in slavery. Burn us, castrating us. You don't want to know all that shit, man. You have endless nightmares. Oh. Huh? No, nah, your spirit does go to heaven. That's, that's, to that's the, the scripture he just read. It goes back to the heavenly. Of course, you got a you got a spiritual body too. 
that it goes back to your spiritual part. But it's the Heavenly Father sends you right back after so much love. Okay. It's like your but your spirit is pure energy. Yeah. You, you, you can't destroy the spirit. Right, right. You cannot destroy the spirit. You know? That's the Heavenly Father killing the part of himself. And you don't even do nothing like that. Reincarnation uh, scripture. It's uh, Matthew 17 and uh, 11. And how shy, or oh, people call it Jesus, answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall come first and restore all things. But I said unto you that Elias has already come. Okay. Right. Uh, it's come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise, shall they do it to the Son of Man, stuff for them. So he, already, he just said he came back. He already came you know. That just goes over people's head. And the disciples understood that he spoke unto them of the John the back. And right, he even said that. He even said, if you will receive it. Because he already knew most people ain't going to understand it. Right, right, right. Exactly. Uh, just like I said, man. They hear the word and they go on right there, too. And it just, you, was, uh, you know. Was like that, uh, dude. dude, we was talking to yeah. him. Yeah. For real? You know? Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. This problem is 10 and 1. No doubt. Yeah. Brother, my heart desire prayer for. Yahweh for uh, Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear that a record that has the zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. <laughs> for they be. Right, because Jake loved the most high. Like, uh, I was watching the Super Bowl last night, too. Your boy Foles. Yeah. Even he, he he was thanking the good Lord and everything. I got to thank the good Lord. And, yeah. You know what I mean? But you know how the athletes is always thanking the most high. Yeah. They, they get praise of the most high all the time. But they ain't doing it according to knowledge. We're about to become popular, y'all. Oh shit. We finally made it. Yeah. We finally made it. Well, fuck that. That's oh, the nah. that's the dinosaur media. I don't think they even got no viewers no I'm more. Surprised. Hey, broke that truck up. Did anybody still even watch that shit? <laughs> Romans ten and three, for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going to establish their own righteousness, Martin Luther King. Oh yeah, going to establish their own righteousness, saying the law's done away with. Saying all of a sudden, after thousands of years, now the, the Lord changed his people. They say Israel ain't the Lord's people no more. Oh, Israel being destroyed. Now all of a sudden, oh, it's okay. You can eat pork. You can eat whatever you want. Just pray over it. You got to cook it right. You got to cook it right. Like they didn't have fire in the ancient world. Right. That's what they say. Well, I heard people say, well, in the ancient world, they didn't have the, they didn't cook it right. Well, dude told me now they got refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> actually, you know, actually, they did have refrigerators in the ancient world. Sure. You know, during the Crusades, uh, y'all know who uh, Saladin is, right? When uh, 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 the Lionheart, Richard the Lionheart, was fighting against Saladin. Sal they show you in that movie, uh, I think it was The Kingdom of Heaven. And they show you how he had, a, he had ice in the middle of the desert. They had a way to actually keep ice. They had to bury it. They did something. They had it. I looked it up one day. But. Yeah, I, I seen they had them in you know, caves that had water streams going through. Mm -hmm. He had ice in the middle of the desert. I like to see that. That'd be amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, man, people think, you know, that people in the ancient world were retarded or something. Smarter than us. They was advanced at their time. <laughs> They had engines, engines of war. Yeah. Oh yeah. You you do well to learn from them. Yeah, yeah. Everything that we got now, we got to get it from the ancient world. And look, uh, the mathematics we got today, all the all the geometry textbooks, uh, all the geometry comes from the ancient Greeks, from Euclid and all them, uh, P Pythagoras, all that. They all go back to the ancient world. They ain't no, I mean, they ain't came up with no new math. It's like we got some new shit. You have the urine and the, you don't even know what that was. Yeah, that could have you could have been like a tablet, even something even more advanced. Yeah, this is some bullshit. There gotta be something better than this. Yep. Ways of war was taught from the ancient world. Right there. Even the, even how they fight in modern day wars is what's learned from the ancient world. Oh yeah, they study uh, West Point and uh, uh what's the other big school? Citadel and West Point. They study Alexander the Great. They study all these ancient uh, armies. They, they study. They uh, study the Maccabees. They study Hannibal. Yeah, the Maccabees. All them uh, Scipio. All them old general. They study all that. 
Hell, they still study uh, Robert E. Lee. Huh? Daniel? Right, Well, Daniel was a president. Oh, that, oh, let's get. I'm gonna get that scripture. I got this off. I got Second Chronicles. I got to get that scripture. Second Chronicles two twenty six and fifteen, and it says, "And he made in Jerusalem engines." Look, this is Second Chronicles, the Old Testament. And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men. Who? You know, the world was in an uproar when Esau invented the car, man. You know that car that old. You gotta wind it up. You gotta watch some videos though, man. That's some badass video. I love watching though that old ass shit from the late 1800s. Hell yeah, I love that shit, man. That's some amazing shit, ain't it? Some amazing shit, man. What was going on then? I mean when when your boy Ford Mass produced that cheap car, man. That he was, it was, it was. He made it cheap just so everybody can buy. He was, it. A, and ge was, to make his channel. He was a genius. <laughs> the way he set up the factories to save money and to, to, to speed up production. That dude's a genius, man. Right. right. Fuck right. it. He son. made in Jerusalem yeah. engines. No, he was a Jake. Henry oh, Ford. Fucking Jake. Man, he brought out more dirt on yeah. them fake Jews than anybody yeah, else. Was a Jake, yeah. Henry was Ford a is a Jake. Just by his his. Just read his book. I got his book. Just read his book. You can tell he's Jake, man. Yep. He's full of. He's full of. Who, whatever. Who else angry? Is angry. He's only angry. They hated Henry Ford because of that. <laughs> and, and Henry Ford was always a. He was always mad, man. He wrote a book on the. Uh, uh, he. We gotta get that book. Henry Ford wrote a book, or something on the, the elders of the protocols of Zion. I think yeah, yeah, he wrote yeah, a. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, I've been meaning to get that book too. I've been meaning to get that book. Man. He wrote, I think, it's two or three books. He it's was he more. was trying he's it's trying to work and he he was he was up there he had money he he knew what was going on he was trying to warn people but nobody listened to old Henry Ford did they they ain't listen oh he's just an anti semite mm -hmm. <laughs> that be on the towers and upon the who is that at um uh, is, uh, Jacob, Jacob is the protocol thing. I got a crease up in the, on the wing. I got a tissue. 